Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the case formula in saved search. Let's take an example. See in a company project, you get different type of scenario and the company might ask you to create formula and a saved search based on their conditions. For example, suppose if the amount of a sales order is less than 400, then show zero in amount and don't show date. Amount is greater than 400, then show amount and populate the date. Or the amount is between 400 to 1000, then show status and amount. There could be any type of conditions. Now in normal SQL, what we use if condition, else if condition, else action, right? Similarly, in NetSuite saved search, we use case, when, condition, and if there are two conditions, then condition and condition. I will show you the example of this. Then action. So this is how it is used. Let me show you with an example. Now here I have created a saved search. We will focus on this latest amount to date when amount is later greater than 100,000 and amount is between 400 to 1000 and the status. In that case, the status. Now, how I created this? Let's go to edit. Here, the criteria is very simple. That is sales order only and created between 1 of May to 30th of June. Now here, now see formula numeric, we have to use here formula numeric. Let me show you this like this formula numeric you have to use after that case. See here, here, if you write case, then this is the syntax. Now you just need to apply your uh, data in it. So I'm going to show you in an easy way. You can see here when, then, right? And it's not case sensitive. You can write it in small also. I have written it in small. See when, first of all, case, when, amount, you can get the amount from here so that there will be no typo mistake. Amount is greater than 1000, then, Again, the amount, if amount is 1000, then show amount. When amount again, is less than 1000, then zero. At the end, you have to put end. So in this way, the formula is created. Similarly, case, transaction date or the date created, case when amount is greater than 1000, in that case only you have to show the transaction date, right? See here, the as per the condition, when the amount is greater than, uh, we take here 1000, it is written here 400, we take it 1000, show amount and populate the date. So we have to create two columns. One is for date here. I have taken formula on date and what it is written here case when amount is greater than 1000 here, same case, then transaction date. Now let's see how it looks like. Yes. See here when this is less than 1000. This is greater than 1000. So amount is also shown and the date is also shown. This is also greater than 1000. Now this is less than 1000. Zero is shown here because we have written the formula that zero should be shown when it is less than 1000 and date should not be populated. Now let's talk about two conditions that it should be greater than 400 and at the same time less than 1000. Now in that case, see here formula currency, we have to use formula currency because we are applying formula on currency here. Also, you can use currency, right? 
so formula currency i have used case when now see here small bracket begins let me show you with them case when small bracket then curly bracket amount is greater than 400 and at the same time amount should be less than 1000 uh, small bracket close then amount that means in that case only amount should be visible similarly for date now see here what i have written here case when amount is greater than 400 and at the same time amount should be less than 1000 that means condition is the same then status should be visible here like this status should be visible right now in that case and i'm going to remove this now see here the amount is between 400 and 1000 see 400 and 1000 it is between 400 and 1000 now it is built status is shown it is greater than 1000 this is between 400 and 1000 it is shown here pending the status is shown here similarly it is greater than 1000 so nothing is shown but here it is greater than 400 and less than 1000 so in this way we apply the formula case let me show you a quick recap case when condition and condition then and amount in most of the queries the case is used because most of the queries are resolved with the help of case only there are so many formulas that we will uh, learn in our upcoming videos but this is most important so i recommend you to practice this case when and then uh, by creating your own scenarios and if you have any doubt you can write down in your comment box i will try to resolve them so guys this is most important video i recommend you to practice again and again and thanks for watching my video keep watching my video and subscribe my channel thanks thanks a lot